Good morning, good afternoon guys, whenever you're watching this, I hope you're doing well. We're down the Gold Coast uh, for a change, so usually I'm Brisbane, sunny coast, but um, we're down the Gold Coast, me and the Musso are here for a weekend, and today I've actually got a couple of hours up my sleeve while she's doing a course. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do a little Google Maps challenge. So if you're not familiar with it, basically I'm just going to jump on Google Maps, look at a few little land-based spots and hop from spot to spot. The key with these ones is that you don't stay in one spot too long, you kind of fish it for 15, 20 minutes and then move on, move on, move on and try and find some actively feeding fish. It's the middle of winter, so I'm not super, super confident, but anything I'll take, to be honest. And we've got a special guest coming halfway through the session or you know, within half an hour or so. So the first few spots I'm gonna do solo, and then we're gonna meet up with him and I'll introduce him later in the video. So let's see how we go. I've got my ultralight rod and my medium rod. Yeah, let's get the gum boots on, grab a backpack, and uh, let's head to the spot. No brownie points for guessing where I am, but uh, I reckon we start here somewhere. Some fish right up over there already. I wonder if I can cast at them. Red's just for me. Oh. There might be mullet, there might be brim. I'll just stand a fair way back. They're way up over there, eh? Oh, spooked him. Didn't realise there was one there. Damn, I thought they were all over there. I landed right on top of one. Damn it. I don't know if they're brim or mullet, but... There's something. Tide's coming in, so... We've got a full tide at about 10, and it's about 7.38 now. They're not feeding like grim, so I'm going to assume they're mullet, but who knows. Big school of mullet just here, in front of me. But I reckon there's got to be brim with them, eh? See if there's anything over here. As I said earlier, the best thing about land based fishing is that you can't stay too still in one spot so just moving from spot to spot so fish here for about five minutes and then we'll move on running guns all day I can see a school of fish already down the bottom here. Oh, that's a big brim right there. Holy. I'm nice and quiet. Just down here. That's it. Oh, so many lookers. Fella. Oh, that's a start, eh? One little brim on the MMD soft prawn. So much water going out through here, eh? It's crazy. Crazy, crazy. Alright. See you, mate. Very cool. One on the board. So the tide's rushing in, but we've got this little channel here and it's rushing real hard out here and you've got a lot of eddy and stuff out here. 
there was a boat fishing just before. There's another hit. The boat just fishing before, and so all those fish are kind of spooked and run off now. So I'm kind of fishing the upper side where this boat can't get to. Um, there are definitely plus sides to fishing land base. You can get to spots that boats can't get. And uh, that boat couldn't get there, and I plucked that little undersized little fella. Nothing crazy, but pretty average size for the Gold Coast. See if we can't pluck another one before we have to jump out of here and move spots. Just shows you don't need a boat or a kayak or anything to just catch some fish. If you just look on Google Maps, you can find some pretty cool little spots. And pretty cool little snags too. <laughs> and getting something super lightly weighted and just drifting them into the spots. It's definitely the way to go. These little MMD soft ponds just look super, super realistic, eh? In the water. And you send them up with something, you, you're in with a chance, eh? Alright, let's look at some other spots here. Let's look at some other spots. So we're here, we just fish those tiny little bridges there. So I saw on the way here, there were some really nice bridges. Was it these ones? Let's just still do these ones whilst the tide's still running. Let's try one of these little fellas. We'll park here somewhere. Four minutes away, perfect. That's what you want, is you want to be within, you know, a couple of minutes of each spot. So you can just go there, fish 10 minutes, and then go to the next spot. So we'll go here and um, see how we go. It's got to be really stealthy. A little from up afar, just to see if you can see any little fellas cruising little shallow banks yeah I can see them rolling there's heaps down there whether they'll eat I don't know that's another question so if we're just nice and gentle nice and stealthy oh my god there's so many fish here there's a bunch of mullet down there brim they're all just smooching on those rocks eh right down there the glare might be pretty bad but there's heaps of them heaps be super stealthy because as soon as one spooks they all spook so just be super stealthy no rush but they all spooked i'm not so stealthy smart little bugger there Yep, there we go. Got one. Yeah, cool. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, it's a good one, I think. Oh, it's a really nice one. Stay away from those rocks, my friend. Stay away from those rocks. Those oysters. Stay away. Stay away. That's a really nice Gold Coast brim. I'm probably stupid grabbing it from the leader, but I got him. Yes. How good's that? Oh, yes. Yes, how good's that? He's not massive, but he's a good Gold Coast brim, nonetheless. There you go, just a little Gold Coast local on that little MMD soft prawn there. They work so, so well all times of year. And uh, I don't know if you saw in that video, but there was a heap of little fish in around the shallows and they all spooked as soon as I cast. But a boat went past and a jet ski went past, but that didn't uh, deter me. And I find that when those actual boats go past, it actually swirls up a fair bit. And some of these fish take advantage of that and uh, go for the little baits that get washed around like in a big washing machine. But I'll take that in the middle of winter and uh, on this nice, beautiful weekend day. And uh, let's get a release on this little one. See you later, mate. Oop. Uh, I might try that other side too. Oh look, the duckies have come to see what I'm doing. <laughs> Here's a perfect example of that wash that I was telling you about. Let's just see if there's anything else. So, 
back in the day when I used to fish for jacks and stuff like that land based I was always deterred by that because it was spook fish and whatever but I found there we go look there's a hit you got it oh he had it he had it that's a snake I used to always be deterred by it but uh not anymore I see it as an advantage oh there is a fish I did have a fish, he just... <laughs> I did have a fish. Oh, no, get out of there. Look at that. Proof's in the pudding. Proof is in the pudding. Oh, there we go. Yes. How good's that? Another one. Another little fellow on this soft prawn, eh? They just love these little prawns, eh? And I love them too. Oh, there we go. Got a bit of a scar on him, a wound on him. Like from a bull shark or something. Right. We'll see you later, mate. Oh. Get out of here. If that's not proof in the pudding with that boat going past, I don't know what is. Oh my. All right, so we've been fishing for about an hour, hour and a half now, and got a couple of little fish and stuff like that. But um, thought I'd introduce the old special guest. So we got Jolly there in the background from Sandy Tracks Fishing on YouTube as well. So. Another YouTuber, he slays the Jewies and flatties down south. And I'll link his uh, channel and stuff in the bio in the description below and stuff. So he's a wealth of knowledge as well. So we're just gonna hit a few more bridges and stuff like that and uh, go for another couple of hours. The tide will turn probably in about an hour or so. And we might even hit up some drains and stuff and try and look for some bigger stuff. So let's see how we go. No. Oh, you yeah, know, we can definitely get down there further too. So that tide is hooking, hooking some something severe but yeah I find here that the um as soon as those boats go past and the wake that's what turns them on like that's when the brim eat yeah they just they, they just it's like a big washing machine yeah like you could be standing there and they just sit in front of you and they watch you yeah. oh there's so many little um glass jelly prawns like the little glassies no wonder why they're hitting the prawn Yeah, the Gold Coast. Not a lot going on this side. Have we got any down there smooching on the rocks? Nah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there is. Yeah, I can see them all down there. Yeah. Oh, you go first, cast. You cast from up here. Yeah, yeah. Or I reckon if you go down there, they might not see you, and just flick it as far as you can that way, out to the middle. Yep, that's it. Now they're still there, so they haven't seen you. That's good. Yeah, yeah, same. Struggles of working the weekend. There we go. Got him. You bastard. Oh, he's dogging me pretty hard, actually. Get out of that rock. Oh. He's all right. Actually, that's really good for the Goldie. That's really nice for the Goldie. Yeah. That was just dead sticking today. Oh, I'm gonna lose him here. Dun, 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 dun. <sighs> yeah, that's a really nice. Oh, he's f showing me what he's made of. The baby makers. All right, there we go. Beautiful little Gold Coast Brimbo on that little soft prawn, the 50 mil. I was just drifting it down there. Freaking cars. Bloody cars going past, but yeah, I was just drifting it down there in the deep part near the bridge pylons, and um, yeah, he just picked that up, not really moving it at all, but um, get a release on him and yeah, keep going. All right, see you, mate. Thanks for the fight. He's out of here. Oh. Yeah, that looks pretty good. You lead the way, my friend. That way, you can die first if you're full. Look at the brim there. Can you see him? Just right in front of you. That's wild. There's one, look, can you, there's one like just on this shallow side. I'm going to pop there. Oh no. Oh, he got it. Oh, yeah, there's so many, bro. They're, they're still there. They're still there. 
Cast it back there, looking for it. Yeah, yeah. I'm watching them. Yeah. Twitch it, twitch it. You're still there. Yeah, look, they're looking at it. Wow. Yeah, it's what my like second or third one did, mate. That was so cool. Wow. There's so many here, eh? I can see them. Got him? Nice. Oh, that's a good solid brim. Holy shit. Yeah, mate. That is a very nice brim. Don't know if you can see, but all this rocks and stuff is all mudded up. And so I think that's what the brim love. They just love when it's all dirty and stuff and they can just go in a feeding frenzy and just feed. So that's the idea anyway, when a boat goes past. There's a bit of a dead end canal there and it's a bunch of land based spots there. And that one there, like there's a spot, like there's a dead end there. that looks like it's a park that you can do. There'd be a drain there for sure. Yeah. You got one, two, and there was a bridge somewhere. Oh no, it's a bit further away, maybe not there. Oh, there's a bridge there. That looks like you can access it. Yeah. Looks similar sort of situation with rocks and a couple of eddies and stuff. Yeah. And that tide will be going that way, obviously. So let's try there. Let's just see how far a drive it is. Ah, perfect. Four minute drive. Let's go. Right. I'll, we'll jump in the car and uh, go to the spot. Let's go. Oh, big brim just followed it out. I was just freaking winding it back in. You bastard. Yeah, there's like a way up near the, in this corner. All right guys, so that's the end of the video there. I hope you really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed that sort of challenge video, pulling up Google Maps, looking for little bridges, little weirs and that sort of stuff, little spots to kind of fish land based and coming up with the goods, especially in the middle of winter. To be honest, I wasn't expecting too much at all, being middle of winter, cold, middle of the day sort of thing. So, but it just shows that you don't need a boat or a kayak or super fancy gear or technology just to find some fish. So the lure that did the damage most of them, well, all of them for me anyway, was the MMD soft prawn in the medium size and I think it was the live color. So a real natural sort of presentation in that super, super clear water. So I hope you got something out of it. If you like the Google Maps challenges, let me know in the comment section below and I'll try and do some more. And if you haven't subscribed to Sandy Tracks Fishing, uh, please do. I'll leave his uh, channel in the description below as well as at the end here. I appreciate you guys and uh, subscribe if you're new, comment as well if you've got anything for me and um, we'll see you in the next video. See you guys.